now courtside with Jim Currier. Well, Roger, uh, late start tonight, but you, you played so beautifully. You played a top 20 player. This is the fourth round match. What are you most pleased with? That was a quick match. Yeah, I mean, uh, very, very happy. Um, it was it was tough against uh, Dimitrov, and I've been you know switching from day to indoors now tonight again. It's been it's been good, you know, it's been a good challenge, and I'm happy I came out and played as well as I did, especially first two sets. I mean, the whole match was great, and uh, they couldn't be happy because I know David really well, and in practice he gives me really hard time, so I'm I'm very pleased. It was a a nice surprise out here tonight for me. Well. You're a veteran. You've been through the late starts before. What, what was what was going on for you just waiting to go on the court? Is any, anything special tonight? Anything happen? Anyone come see you in the player restaurant? Um, no, just the normal stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, Rod Laver came around. I mean, I don't know if that's... Yeah. Well, that was yeah, no, no, you're right. I don't know where you were but that you saw me, but uh, you came to say hello, which is very nice. I appreciate that always. It's a great moment. Uh, motivated and inspiring. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Okay, good to see you. Thank you. I'm always watching. Always watching. <laughs> well, you had a lot of great tennis minds around you, not only the Rocket, but you've added a, a new person to your team. Severin Luthi has been with you a long time as your coach. Now you have Ivan Lubacic, who's not only coaching you, but you also played against him. What's it like to have a peer now helping you as a coach? Yeah, I think that's the first uh, for me. Hope I'm not forgetting anybody, though. No, I don't think so. But it's the first time that I have someone in my team that actually I've played against, and then we played a ton against each other. So I thought it'd be an interesting situation as well to have somebody on the team who's played against a lot of the guys I play against nowadays, and who also can figure out my game maybe, so they can give me good advice. Um, he's good on the team. I know him since a long, long time, obviously, and it's been nice working with him. He left already. He's already scouting the next match, I guess. But anyway, uh, thanks uh, to my support team for supporting me like they do. <laughs> well, you're going to need some support for your next match. you, you got Tomas Verdic. That's a tough one. You guys have had a lot of tussles over the years. Uh, what are your expectations for that match? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. No, Thomas is a long time now, over 10 years on tour. We played a, a big matches against each other. Olympic, Olympic they beat me. Wimbledon they beat me. And, yeah, I've I beat him also a few times. So we played on big occasions, so it's always nice to... Uh, Seeing him again, and I think this court really plays well for him. Uh, he played great here last year, being Rafa, so I got my uh, my hands full, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad you unclassed. You had like negative body language going with me. Had your arms closed. Now you're open. Now I feel like we can start talking oh, a little bit. Good. Okay. All right. Good. Come with me. All right. Family. I haven't had a chance to talk to you much. Give me the update on the family. The kids are getting a little bit older, a little bigger. How many languages are they speaking? <laughs> <laughs> well, the boys are one and a half. I don't know. Three languages, four? Yeah, three or four words, maybe, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, and those, that language is Swiss German, I think, and maybe a bit of uh, names. I don't know what names are for you, what language, but uh, no, it's, uh, it's the cutest thing ever. Again, I'm happy I'm going through it once again with my wife. It's just beautiful, and uh, the girls are six and a half now. They're just incredible. Um, a lot of, sorry. A lot of <laughs> a lot of educational stuff going on right now, so that's uh, that's a challenge, but I love it. It's um, it's, it's a lot of fun, and they speak uh, yeah, two languages, three, three languages. That's good enough. Right, well, you spoke beautiful tennis out here tonight. We look forward to seeing you against Tomas. This is Roger Federer, ladies and gentlemen. Always a pleasure. Well, always a pleasure. I always get something interesting out of his interviews.